And in other news, my ceramics is not going so well. My product is not looking good. It's a little sloppy. Things are falling apart. Technically, I guess it's not looking good. stuff to look not perfect but I want it to before it goes into glazing because I think glazing once you put a glaze on it uh, it hides it, it'll mask uh, a lot of imperfections I don't want it I, to do that and then plus within closer scrutiny I guess maybe you can see those imperfections you know, I, I don't want to, I'm new at it um, this is my first products that I'm hand building and I really can't be too hard on myself I don't think but still I, I, I'm just not happy with how things look and I want to remake it and stuff but being a summer school class it's a faster pace and I'm not having the time to do it and as it is I'm already staying after class for a really long time uh, so anyways so I'm making a cup our, our next uh, project is to make mugs and this this whole emphasis on this is, is the outward design plus the handle is actually it's the handle as long as the handle really comes out well I think uh, it'll look good it'll be okay overall uh, but I'm going for a giger look the guy who uh, did the alien monster uh, uh, we'll see. I think this this particular project is really going to rely heavy on the end all glaze. Uh, we'll see. Um, and in the regular mug, let's we'll see. There's one that's supposed to be artistic, sculptural, and then the other one is just like a, a functional mug. That one, then I'm just going to kind of go with. Uh, are all being slab built which is basically you roll out a flat sheet of clay and it's real soft and pliable and you bend it and fold it into the shape you want it. So I'm making this mug and I cut out a piece like in leaves and then you know, I'm overlapping them into a circle and uh, then I'm going to put this handle on it. The handle is going to be real sculptural, I hope, to make it look like bones, like a, you know, a forearm bone, I guess, but bent and warped a little bit. But anyways, uh, and then so the other one I'm going to make uh, in, from another slab, which I might actually coil build, or maybe half and half. Um, and then have that actual one that's comfortable to use, because the other one, the Giger one, is going to have sharp, sort of serrated points on it. It might be a little painful to drink for. And then after that we have to make a uh, teapot. Which I have designs on that. And that's going to take a while. It's going to be a big, big project. And of course in my mind I think it's going to look all cool and everything but what comes out of the hand is not exactly what I always I envision so okay well I've been blabbing a lot so that's it okay I'll vlog at you later ciao